In Enterprise Miner, I will start by creating a new project. And I will place it into my chosen folder. I want to keep all my project files organized, so it's good practice. So, oh, my data sources. Uh, right, I forgot one more step here in the, in the uh, enterprise guide. Actually, I have to export this file. So I will export them as say SAS data files. Um, okay. Then uh, this time I will place them here. Uh, I'll call this one. And I'll repeat the process with the other one. And I'll call this one test. Exported data files are now here. Good. Um, so, since they are in a location um, that is uh, not part of any data library, I'll start by uh, creating a data library that points to this location. So, I'll just copy this um, folder path here in Enterprise Manner. I'll go under a new library. And I will create a new library. I'll call this library Titanic. And then navigate to it. So I want to point the library to this location. Wonderful. So now we should be able to add the data sources to our project. Titanic library here. Uh, let's try. I can't import both of them at the same time, so I'll start by adding the train data set. Um, okay, so um, I'll have to uh, modify the rows to make them more optimal. So the input is um, an ID. Um, each cabin. So survived is our target variable. And um, all the other variables are input variables, uh, except for, for the name. This name is the uh, So I'll call this uh, choose a role of crane. Great. Let's repeat the process with the test data. Similar approach here. So to change my passenger ID to an ID variable and uh, name is uh, hmm, interesting what uh, it recognized as a, an input variable here uh, that is actually I don't know how a name of the uh, passenger would help us predict their survival rate unless uh, I had a hunch that perhaps um, posh passenger names are result in a higher likelihood of survival. And this is our test 
fit or score would be an appropriate selection here. Okay, so this concludes um, adding the data source test to our SAS Enterprise Miner project.